Where is it at? Setting up husbands for failure. All right, setting up husbands for failure here. So I'm going to give you a couple of clips here to show you what they got going on here for husbands, uh, for the men who want to get married. It's going to be very difficult to keep your woman somewhat relatively happy. Uh, So let me start with this gentleman here. This gentleman is a pastor, Pastor Weak Sauce, <laughs> Pastor Weak Sauce. Here we go right here, Pastor Weak Sauce. Take a look at him. Oh, boy, this ninja. Oh, the humanity. Yeah, Pastor Weak Sauce here. All right, he definitely can't be my pastor looking like that. He going to need to be able to do at least 15 push-ups. He don't look like he push-up ready. All right, he looking like a little bird-chested in here. What does Pastor Weeksaw say about biblical marriage? Here we go. If you're a husband and dad with young kids, newsflash, you shouldn't be having time for a hobby. If you're doing your job as a dad and you're doing a job as a husband, where are you finding time for hobbies? I flushed my hobbies down the toilet the second we had a kid, and I'm only getting back into them now that I can bring my kids with me and we can do it together. Otherwise, why would I take the little margin of life I have left and open and available and go do a hobby? Are hobbies bad? No. Can they be life-giving? Absolutely. Should you have one? Maybe. I don't know. Does that mean you should not have fun? No. But it means that you are focusing the primary energy input and output on, into your wife and your children and making a culture thrive there. If your husband... <laughs> wow. Wow. This can't be real. But if you want me to tell you the dynamics between, because brothers want me to say, now do white men. Pause, man. I won't do white men. Hey, yo, chill, son. But hey, I've been yo. telling you for a long, t- long time, white men tend to be the most simps. All right. They, I, I, all right so let me clean it up. White, white men tend to be the most blue pill in relationships and marriage. Now, there, you have to understand here, for the people here, and I'm not just trying to clean it up, white men are plugged into the matrix. So they got a simp on unbelievable levels, but they normally don't simp for many women. They only get to like one or two, and they'll simp for a pretty girl who fits the role, and they'll start simping at an unbelievable level. All right, and so their simpery is on a different plateau, but they still get the rewards of kids and house and community and family and legacy where nin- ninjas don't. You get that all stripped away. They still going to get the woman, all right? And they'll get a good quality woman because some women will go find these goofy-ass, simp-ass ninjas, all right? So they'll search and hunt them down at SMU. They'll ser- search and hunt them down at Georgetown. They'll search and hunt them down at Alabama, Tuscaloosa. They'll, su- they'll search white women, search and hunt these ninjas down after they get their back blown out through the sorority. But after junior year, they search and hunt these ninjas down. They still going to get a pretty wife. They don't got to get a mud shark or a fat woman. Now, you're going to end up, ninja's going to end up with a mud shark, a black, a big old black woman. All right, these women going to have a good, attractive woman. Now, now, is he blowing her back out? No. All right, can he get divorced? Yep. Is he going to have to be a beta? Yep. It's going to be a mess. It's going to be a catastrophe. But this shit is wild. This shit is wild. So they're going to go into full beta mode once they become husbands. Why? Because they're programmed for this shit. They cannot jump out here and penalize themselves and say, I ain't going to be out here. I ain't going to be in the matrix. They get a penalty. Then they got to get an overweight white woman. Then they got to go get their passport. Okay. But, but, now this guy's saying, again, setting you up for failure. You don't get to have fun. You are only here for duty. You are only here to provide. You are only here to help your wife not become a miserable woman and unhappy. You got to be here emotionally, financially, spiritually. You got to be the spiritual leader, the emotional leader, the financial leader, a.k.a. you got to be also present, not away, no hobbies. Stay right here. If you just so as much mess up one of these things, bye-bye for you. That's where we're going to get into the setting your husbands up for failure. Okay. Okay. So you mess up one of these things. You got one hobby, two hobbies. You want to buy a truck. You want to have a motorcycle. You want to go golfing. You want to go for a long weekend uh, with the boys. You want to go hunting and fishing. And you don't, you just, these white men are just utilities. And yes, they get cheated on, humiliated, 
all of this shit. And some of these white guys like humiliation. So that's another secret you don't know. All right. They like humiliation. That's another secret that's not talked about. They are typically, I don't know, these, especially guys that look like him, they like the humiliation. Like they be doing humiliating shit, like getting walked on by high heels, stuff ninjas will never do. Or rarely, they like financial domination. <laughs> Take my credit card, spend it, max it out, make me pay the bill. They, 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 a super beta closet, closeted betas, okay? Mm. They'll come out with beards and all that shit and be getting financially dominated by a woman. And their wife will financially dominate them. Yep, going on ski trips. They got a cabin in the woods. They got, they got, she got the right vehicle, the right SUV, Suburban, Land Rover, Range Rover. Um, anything wife wants, anything you want, anything you want, honey, here's the credit card. But they got the attractive woman. And then ninjas would be like, man, don't let her walk on you. Don't simp. Don't trick. But they only have tricking. Why? Because they know it's about economics. I keep her if I pay. They already know it's about economics. I get to get the house she wants with the island, with the fucking retractable door to the garden. That's the game they play. That's the, yep, Matt Walsh style. That's the game they play. And I don't have any hobbies. I, I try to take the same route to work. Yep, I got, I got a man cave. I have grill outside. So it ain't no better. I mean, they just get used and abused. Now, what's happening next? They ended up in relationships like this. So this wife is going to be seen. I've done, actually had her on the show a few times. Uh, but um, here we go right here. She have the equal partner wife. This is where the wives are miserable wives. So uh, what happens is wives become miserable and then they take it out on the man. So they're going to take it out on you. Here we go right here. I have an equal partner. I don't have to make him a list. I have an equal partner. I don't have to ask him to help with things around the house. I have an equal partner. He knows how to shop at the grocery store without pictures. I have an equal partner. He doesn't expect me to handle everything alone. I have an equal partner. He plans date nights without me having to beg for it. I have an equal partner. He does his own laundry. I have an equal partner. He makes his own appointments. I have an equal partner. My stocking has never been empty. I have an equal partner. He makes the kids lunches in the morning. I have an equal partner. He makes and takes their son to his therapy appointments. I have an equal partner. He doesn't believe that just because he goes to work, he shouldn't have to do anything when he gets home. I have an equal partner. He takes genuine interest in me and my interests. I have an equal partner. He knows how to fold towels. I have an equal partner. He takes our kids to bed and knows their teachers' names. I have an equal partner. He doesn't make me feel bad if I'm not in the mood. I have an equal partner. He acknowledges and appreciates what I do and tells me that often. I have an equal partner. He does basic adult tasks without being asked. Now, again, this man is being set up for failure. He has put the bar at a place that he's only going to fail one time and she going to go, re. he has no spine. He, he probably looks like, oh, can you guys see it on your screen? I hope you guys can see the video. Her partner probably looks like this guy. For some reason, my button's lighting up here. That's her equal partner right there. That's her equal partner. <laughs> okay. Now, again, many of those things I would naturally do in my relationship because I'm not dependent. I'm not codependent at all. But I do need some help. I'm not in this for myself. Like, I wouldn't get married so I can do my own laundry and make my own meals and pretty much do everything she does. Because when we get to this, we're going to boil it down here. If he's so much as messes up on one of those things, she's going to divorce grape him to kingdom come. He starts realizing who he is and going to go get his own life. This ninja said, if you got a whole hobby, one hobby, you fucked. So the minute he says, hey, I bought something for myself, the minute he says, I want to go on a trip by my, he's screwed because this woman is a miserable woman. So now she's out here parading around, humble bragging and basically um, flexing that she don't have to do, do as much work. He's doing the majority of the, the work. I know the women are like, no, he's helping her. Watch this. We're going to get to it in a minute. She does not have an equal partner. That is anything but equal. Right here. Let's let's show you this video. 
This is why I tell you this is going to be failure for you. All right, watch this. We got this. We got another Millie Mouth muskrat. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, average looking white women are very smart. Uh, average looking women of other races particularly are not as smart. So when you see a white woman, a wife, she's, <laughs> dude, it, it, you don't see her be talking about thumping her chest. Now, she wish she could be strong and independent, but she ain't dumb. And she knows where her looks are, and she will cash that shit in. 22, 23, 24, 25. Now, the ones that are disillusioned, they stretch that shit out. But this woman know good and damn well she ain't got no time on the clock. All right, so let me go ahead and cash in. Unfortunately, she marries a, a schlub, and then she talks down to him. She wears him down. She sets him up for failure. You might agree with the overall sentiment of this video. I understand what she's saying, but I want you to listen to her tone or delivery. I want you to listen to what she says, what she acknowledges, what she's doing, and the expectations of the husband. Not so much what she's talking about. What she's talking about is a very important point. But she says, I'm going to set him up for failure in raising our child because I want him to be able to be comfortable alone with the child. But... Listen to her tone. It says heavy on the let him struggle. As a new mom, the single best piece of advice I ever got was let the dad struggle. It is sink or swim time for them and they are going to flounder and you're going to let them. I have never agreed with something more and here's why. As new moms, we have likely had this one again. This divorce is incoming, bruh. This is a divorce. Let me go back and play the video again for the woman here. What she says at the, what the uh, second woman says, and I'm not going to play it. But listen to this. Let him flounder, sink or swim. Let him struggle. And I'll tell you what it's about later. Listen again. As a new mom, the single best piece of advice I ever got was let the dad struggle. It is sink or swim time for them, and they are going to flounder, and you're going to let them. And you're going to let them. Now, you could apply that to anything, but let me tell you what she meant. What she meant was because dads typically are not good with kids, which is a myth. Dads might say, hey, I'm not good changing diapers. I'm not good feeding the baby. The baby's crying. You know, when the mom wants to get her own personal time, she said, you can't leave me here with the kids. This is the... The, the, the old, uh, what we call the, uh, the goofball husband. The, the husband that's just so dumb, he can't figure it out. Well, what she wants to do is she's going to set him up for failure so he can learn how to take care of the kids so that she can get her personal time. And remember, she makes it about her. So I'm going to leave you here crying with the baby. I'm going to leave you here with no answers. I'm not going to tell you when to feed the baby. I'm not going to tell you how to soothe the baby and stop the baby from crying. I'm going to make you fail so you learn. But she's telling it to you as if you're just like, listen to her tone. Is this a wifely tone? This is a condescending tone. This is a tone of, I hate you. This is a term of, I'm going to make you pay. This is a tone of, you're going to do half the work. This is a demanding, she wears the pants tone. Okay, not so much about the subject. In fact, I was very fine with children and raising it. You will find that. The opposite of this is if the man's able to do it, she will be jealous of the guy. So if you come in and you're prepared and you're like, let me at the kid. I'll take the kid on the walk. I'll push the stroller. I'll change the diapers. I'll wake up in the middle of the night. If you start doing that with efficiency and you're effective, she will sabotage you. She will set you up for failure. She'll at first embrace it, but then she'll be competitive against you. And she'll be like, hey, man, I feel less than. I feel like you don't need me. Tell me if I'm lying. Tell me if I'm lying. Anybody that's ever experienced this as a father and the woman said, well, I feel like you don't even need me. She's going to she's going to torch your ass. But she's purposely leaving information out that would be critical in assisting me. Now, let me flip it again. Let me flip it again. I'm going to flip this again to tell you how bad this is, how set up. If, in fact, I did the same thing to my wife and I said, I'm going to let you fail. When you bring groceries in, I'm going to sit here on the couch and watch you struggle bringing them fucking groceries in so that if, in fact, I'm not here, you're going to bring them groceries in. Every time something happens, I ain't going to do. 
Anytime we need to go ahead and cut the grass and we need to trim the edges and you need to take the trash out at 930, you need to walk the dog in the winter. I'm going to let you fail. I'm going to just sit here. I'm going to sit here and struggle. Start up the lawnmower. Honey, can you help me? Nah, you got to struggle. I got to let you fail. I got to let you learn by failure. (laughs) Ninja. And I say, bitch, sink or swim. Figure the shit out. Act like I ain't here. Figure it out on your own. You see that? Now guess what's about to happen. Okay. I'm not happy. (laughs) This is why I tell you. Flounder, bitch, flounder. Carry, move the sofa across the room. You need to move the sofa across the room? Baby, you do it. I'll just watch you, baby. Sink or swim. Figure that shit out on your own. You see how different that is when you flip it? Now, if I was as condescending as this alien-looking woman, if I was as condescending and self-righteous and eh, equal partner, I would be an abuser. Yep, change that fly tie. Baby, I got a flat. Dude, I was at the bank teller. I I was at the ATM one time. And an old lady, I won't say she was old, old, but she was older. She got a flat tire. She was behind me at the ATM. I finished up. Now, as I'm doing my transaction, she behind me. She on the phone. Uh, Herb, Henry, all right, I got a flat tire. You got to come over here and get me. (laughs) And I was like, what? She was like, there was a flat tire. One of you guys messed it up. I got the car, and now the tire's flat. I'm at the bank. Come get me. Bitch, sink or swim. Call AAA. Figure it out on your own. I I let the tire air out of the tire so you can learn how to survive or sink or swim. You You see how it sounds different? You see how it sounds fucked up? I would have been like, bitch, hey, I let the tire out on purpose to see what you was going to do when your ass is out there with a flat tire. You lucky you ain't at the ba- you lucky you ain't at the side of the road and you at the bank. So figure it out. Triple A. Put some air in the tire. Drive that shit on the rim. Do whatever you need to do. Find out if, how far you can go without bending that rim. You see how it's different? See, you're, we're supposed to help each other. Not put these situations where, where the guy said you have to be emotional. Physical, financial, spiritual. And then the minute you fuck up one, you're out of here. So all the things she wants you to learn, she's going to condescendingly teach you because you're just completely incapable. But now, (laughs) the minute you do this, that's her excuse to exit plan. This is why I say it's so important where you guys got to understand, they're setting you up for failure, where they keep encroaching on what, they want you to do, and the minute you say something, well, I can't do it. Am I making sense? Am I, am I making sense here? Okay, so a lot of people are trying to fight me on this one. Am I making sense? These are wives. These are the people you marry. These are the people you support, and they're throwing you under the bus. They're sending you up, even this goofy-ass pastor. If I'm not making sense, please, please, please describe where I'm failing to communicate here. Well, coach, you supposed to take care of your woman. You, but, but it seems like more and more, they're putting more and more on our plate and complaining about what's on their plate. Then the minute it's time to do what I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to just do it because I'm the man. They're setting you up for failure. And on purpose, look, on purpose. <laughs> Wait a minute, right here. Let the dad struggle. Single best piece of advice I ever got was let the dad struggle. You hear that? And this woman kissing it. Let the dad struggle. Heavy on the struggle. It is sink or swim time for them, and they are going to flounder. They're going to flounder. Wait a minute. Not they might flounder. She's hoping you flounder. Hoping. Like, they're going to flounder. They're going to fail, and I'm going to love it. And then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to tell them, blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm talking about? (laughs) This is set up for failure. Here we go right here. I got one more. 
I've noticed a lot of women in the car are not miserable wives too. It's always the single friends. Shout out to KS. TikTok, I hate TikTok. I've noticed a lot of- All right, I want to show a video. I move my mouse ever so slightly and they move the video. Women in the comments saying that their husband is always saying they look miserable. And so I want to talk to the men and offer some perspective because before you say she looks miserable, I want you to ask yourself what she has to be happy about. When was the last time you truly sat down and had a conversation with your wife? When was the last time you asked about her day or recognized her for what she did instead of just expecting it to be done? All right, let me stop it right here. This is a two-minute video. This is too many videos of what you ain't doing. The minute you go out and have a hobby, the minute you go out and ride your motorcycle, this bitch going to be like, and you didn't do this and you didn't do that. The minute you want to go get some decompression, the minute you want to take a nap, I'm going to show you that in a minute. You want to take a nap. She going to say, I don't get to take a nap. Listen to this. Listen to this. These are miserable wives, brothers. Way too much on your plate. There's so much monotony in running a household. There's no reward or feeling of success when someone's always working, but the job is never done. I don't think a lot of people understand how easily women can lose their identity. It's Let me stop you right there, ma'am. Let me stop you right there. Because this, this again, watch this. Watch this. I'm talking to y'all right here. Let me talk. Let me let me talk to you guys. Let me talk to you guys. This is supposed to be an adult. This woman you married is supposed to be an adult. She acting like a fucking juvenile. Yes, I, I'm saying this. This is how you get set up for failure. She has a un. She has an exhausting list of shit that you got to keep completing. And you got to just know this. She ain't going to tell you. And you don't complete one of them. Here she goes. That's number one. Number two. This woman volunteered for this. I just want you to understand. This is what she asked for. Somebody might have told her the realities of being a mother and a wife. You asked for this. I didn't club you over the head. I didn't drag you into this. I didn't browbeat you. I didn't hold you at gunpoint. This is what it this is what it is, and it's always been this. Unfortunately, you're gonna marry a woman and she's still gonna I'm not happy. <laughs> this is how you get divorced. You asked for this. You volunteered for this. Now, bitch, you don't like the job. Now I gotta keep guessing and completing your tasks. A lot of people just see this as you're supposed to do this, but what's when's the list going to end? Does the list ever end? The answer is no. Whenever she's pissy, whenever she crashing out, whenever she's short circuit, whenever she on her PMS, whenever she's unhappy, whenever she's drunk, whenever she's not taking her SSRIs, when I, whenever she's depressed, whenever she's anxious, whenever the money in the bank account ain't right, whenever she don't give her a gift, whenever she don't get her way, Just whenever. Whenever she wants, she can whip this shit out. Whenever she's sad, whenever she's lonely, whenever she, here it comes. This is setting you up for failure. These are insatiable human beings, right? They're not there to be satisfied. They date or complain. And most men, they come home, and this is what you come home to. You did something wrong. Well, what, honey? Well, you didn't fix the lunch. You didn't pick up the kids on time. You did. You picked the kids up too early. You made me feel like I'm not, not, I'm not needed. I'm not making fun of them. I'm making fun of the situation we're in. They might have generally these, in, uh, these, these, these uh, issues. Um, but this is how they set you up for failure. And, dude, you worked hard to get her here. You, how hard did you work to get her here? You macked her. You entertained her, you dated her, you spent money on her, you bought the engagement ring, ring, the wedding ring, the suffering, the honeymoon, the car, the house, the clothes, the kids. You got her all the way here. And now, more shit. This is how you get divorced. This is how you get bait and switch. <laughs>
And then the whole time they blaming you every time something happens. You were at the golf club too long. You work too much. You don't work enough. We have too much money. Uh, you don't have enough money. You're tracking our money to our, I'm telling you, they're setting you up for failure. Who would want to do this shit? Who wants to do this? They recognized her for what she did instead of just expecting it to be done. There's so much monotony in running a household. There's no reward or feeling of success when someone's always working, but the job is never done. I don't think a lot of people understand how easily women can lose their identity. You mean short circuit, lose their identity. What, what, what do you call the husband? <laughs> lose their identity. Ma'am, what do you call this? You think this is his identity? You think he really wants to be a beta male cuck like this? No, he's doing it because the matrix. Let's continue here. Let's see what this woman crashing out about. Start to be defined by our titles and we can stop feeling like a person as a result. Your partner may feel like a wife, a mother, a maid, or a cook, but she may not feel like herself. And if you have kids, she may never have the opportunity to be alone. She may not even be able to take a shower by herself. And she lacks the adult interaction that would leave her mind feeling stimulated. There's no way to describe what it feels like to never be alone, but to always feel lonely. And it's not always fulfilling to feel like you only exist to help others exist. Think about something as simple as the difference in the way you and your wife perceive your home. For you, home is where work ends, but for her it never stops. And she may be struggling under the weight of something that you insist isn't difficult, but you only lack the understanding of what she does because it's always done. When she looks unhappy, she's probably overwhelmed, exhausted, and struggling. She feels unappreciated, unseen, and unwanted. But you can give her that adult conversation. You can give her the opportunity to take some alone time and you can ask if she needs help instead of just watching her be overwhelmed. So maybe don't comment on her looking miserable and put a little effort into making her smile instead. Now, I'm going to say this point and that this should be the final point on this. <laughs> this should be the final point. Anybody that has ever been in a marriage or a relationship. Yeah, somebody said moving the goalposts. What's going to happen? What's going to happen when I do those things? Anybody? Ladies? Ladies, you can, you can answer this too. Let's just say, you know what? You're right, honey. I've been abandoning you. I've been making you feel less than... I've been putting too much responsibility on your shoulders for the next week, month, year, day. I'm going to do all that shit. I'm going to do all of it. And she's going to say, you're my hero. What's going to happen? Anybody? He said nothing. You ain't going to get no better pussy. That's already been had. You ain't, she ain't going to drop that neck. She's going to move the goalposts. It's going to be something else. But what's going to happen? Yep. Woo! Jupiter Machine on the Notorious channel. That's the best way he said it. He said, clock resets tomorrow. Tomorrow, the clock resets. Soon as you guys go to sleep and wake up, none of that shit counted. Jupiter Machine, that's it. Tomorrow, clock resets. That shit didn't matter. Good for you. Next day, she going to be whining. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Them points don't carry over. And she's going to say, you only did it for one day. You only did it for five days. You only did it for a week. You only did it for a month. You only did it for three months, six months, a year. Next day, boom, you did zero. You get no pussy points. These men, they know. She's going to enjoy it for that day. Next day, you did nothing. Mm. Next day, she's going to ask, hey, honey, can I buy a new purse? You're going to say, nope. <laughs> Groundhog day, ninja. You never let me buy anything. 
<laughs> you act like this. You never. It's going to be something else. The goalpost going to move over here. And now it's over here. And you're like, baby, I was out here doing what I was doing the last week. I let you go to a hotel. I took the kids all weekend. Move goalposts. Then she bitching about you not doing something else. Mm. Yep. Somebody said everything you say, everything a woman says, just add right now to the end of it. Oh, thank you. You made me happy right now. And tell me I'm lying. Ladies, where y'all at? <laughs> Dude, you going to be back doing this shit again. And the minute you stop, you set the bar there. The minute you stop, boom. Okay. You're not doing it no more. And she goes, I'm not happy. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here. And also, the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.